good with it Nia squad I am back again with another video um first I just wanted to start off with saying I'm sorry for my absence um school's been getting to me and my job switching jobs and just doing everything has been taking up a lot of my time and I haven't had time to make these videos but since I'm off for another week you already know you already know what time it is. I'm probably about to hit y'all with two videos this month before the month ends. And I just wanted to also say that I hope everybody is staying safe out there, you know, due to coronavirus actually spreading. It's spreading pretty fastly, so please stay safe if you're working, if you're not working. And if you are not working, you are allowed to apply for unemployment just to let you know. But without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm going to be doing some TikTok hacks, um, just a few of them, and I'm going to also be doing... another like just a simple hack for the time being so let's get right into it so the first step is that you apply foundation to your brows so i'm putting a little foundation on and just going to let's see it was not a lot so we're just going to foundation onto the back of my hands if I don't have any like mixing board right now and I'm just going to apply it to my brow it feels very weird just applying foundation to my brows like it's weird so make sure they're they're covered like the girl in the video did her And this one's like kind of like a tan foundation kind of so gotta kind of be careful with this one it's, it's a little not tan season right now especially in texas and then i'm gonna go ahead and take my james charles palette and we're just going to kind of gonna just mix two because i don't i don't go too like i don't go too dark with my eyeshadow but this color right here looks perfect you just pack some eyeshadow onto your brows I don't see how this works but I'm just gonna ooh, pack it on there yeah look a hot mess yo Look, it's not even too dark. This is not a dark brown moment. Like, I'm trying to do that and then start press, pressing into my brows. To make, like, the back end darker and the front end lighter. You know what I mean? <laughs> I look crazy, y'all. Like, absolutely crazy. Okay. So, after that, oh, wow. I was trying to look for something. They say that you should, you put the eyeshadow on, you pack it with your brow, and then you're supposed to wipe your brow. Now, for an everyday trick, this actually might be a waste of some makeup wipes, especially if you feel like me. Person who does not like carving out their brows. So maybe I should have started from the top. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I actually might have packed a little bit too much near the front. giving me a nice bold brow look and we all know I don't like my brows too big so I'd be sitting here for forever trying to shape my brows which is happening right about now just sitting here forever shaping my brows but we're gonna do the other brow off camera because it's taking a while 
Okay. So after like wiping them off, they don't look bad. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. They don't look bad. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the last step, which is conceal. And y'all love concealing my brows. I don't know why. They just look so nice when I conceal them. And that's the point of makeup. But I'm gonna uh, answer just this quick question that a lot of people like ask me a lot of the time. How did um, I start doing makeup? Like a lot of my friends ask me that. Like, how did you start doing makeup? How'd you get so good at makeup? Like, I I can't do that. And I always tell them like, I watched a two minute video on how to do an eye look and I did it in one minute because it, I mean it's not maybe because I watch a lot of YouTubers and I like the like the technique and I've been doing the technique for a while just never knew how to like apply it to my own face you know so I was like okay well let me watch this video like I was doing simple like glitter looks and stuff and that's where like most people start off you do glitter you don't go too wild you don't do cut creases like that and I like that's the same way I started off. I was like, I don't do cut creases, I don't do this, I don't do that. But I can do this. And I was trying to tell people like, hey, I can't do this. But it gets hard after a while. And I was like, it's just you you need practice and you need to learn from videos and other people on how to do things like that, you know? And they were like, oh, like yeah exactly how i taught myself okay looky my brows don't look bad but would i do this again probably not because wasted a lot of my time so yeah okay so the next one is basically where you moisturize you moisturize your skin first i'm gonna moisturize like the bottom half because i've never moisturized beforehand because and get to the point where I look stupid, duper, 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 shiny. Shiny. And then you go on with a translucent powder. So, um, let's see. Since you're not going to be like setting, setting, you're probably going to go on with the, the Becca powder. Y'all, I'm sorry. All my brushes are in here right now because I was too lazy to put them up. And that's just me. I'm pretty sure some other people have done that where you just you wash your brushes and you just don't put them up <laughs> so then you set you know what I always have to do it with my makeup powder I usually hold it upside down first shake it and then open so then you set your face with some powder some chance with some powder they say not too much just a light light coverage Nose. Set my face. I'm not sure if I'm liking this one because I'm using a lot of it. So I set my face, push my under area. No, we're not using this no more. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I get frustrated really easily. Easily, I cannot speak. We haven't been in school that long. No, we've been out of school too long, so I cannot speak. So now I'm going in. Now I'm going in with wet and wild. It's working a little bit better because it's more powdery. Now I look like a powdery queen okay and then you say to set your face any setting spray doesn't matter then you wait for a setting spray to dry so it's pretty dry and then you go ahead and prime see what I want to prime today 
Gonna use the Wonder Glow primer. Just gonna. One, two, one, two, and one. This is how I prime. One, two, one, two, and one. And then you're just gonna. Okay. So, immediately this, this as a base, it makes it a little more tackier and a little bit more, like, kind of like harder for the primer and it makes my primer a little more sticky i noticed that immediately so then we're gonna go in with some wet and wild foundation and lately i've been mixing my foundation with my concealer so i know i have a good combination going on so yeah we're just gonna be just gonna mix that To get me a base. So I'm gonna use a base for your foundation. It's like apply your foundation. And then you're supposed to see how it how it looks after you apply. And yes, I go underneath my eye even though we're gonna conceal. And I only say that because I don't know, I like to be cake. Oh, just kidding. Cakiness is never cute. So now we're gonna go on with some more foundation. Because I do I don't put a lot of foundation on my hand. I don't know why. You know, my face is big. Like I know y'all probably like, girl, what is you doing? Like you don't even have that much foundation on you. I know. I know. <laughs> then we're gonna mix that again. Where it was Then you apply that to the forehead. Gotta make sure my forehead's on, on bright, y'all. On bright. Okay. And do not get at me for that for swiping because sometimes I swipe across my eyebrows to make sure that my eyebrows are actually not like getting lifted by the foundation. So I swipe them over. Like an over and over, over, under technique that I like to use. Okay, first thing I notice is my smile lines. My smile lines are so harsh, like extremely harsh. Y'all, we're not, we're just gonna ignore the fact that I have this brown, like really dark brown foundation on because I'm not tan right now. We're just gonna ignore that fact and we're gonna turn my lighting down a little bit lower. So, first things first, it does not look good. Like, my foundation does not look that good. It's kind of bugging me. So, now we're just gonna go ahead and. Concealed. It's kind of disappointing because I smile a lot and you can always see my smile lines, like always see them. And they're never hidden from the world. Never. People, like, no matter how hard I set my face, my smile lines are always popping up within at least. I don't know. It takes about five hours for my smile lines to actually like settle into my makeup. It's kind of like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, oh, there you go. Found where you went. You know, that type of thing. So now we're just going to conceal lightly. And yes, we're using the same sponge. Make sure where everything is and stone. We're just gonna keep blending, keep blending, keep blending. So I'm just gonna keep blending. Alright, so I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera and come back for the eye look. I have a new baby here, brand new. It's the Morphe Eye Obsession Breast Set. 
comes with 12 brushes. So, we're about to have so much fun. Okay. So, I don't want to use this. I have like brushes. This is cute. So, anyway, <laughs> that's besides the point. I'm going to go in with this one. Oh, they're so soft and cute. Like, y'all can never. And then we're going to type. Let's see, I was thinking about using another palette. We're going to go ahead and take the James Charles palette because I'm obsessed with it. Of course, I let the plastic fall, but that's okay. I think we're going to go in with a little. Kind of want to do blue. I really want to do blue. Do I really want to do blue? I kind of do. I do like. Actually, no. We're gonna do like a yellow, a red and orange moment. Or yellow and orange moment. Yellow, definitely yellow. So I'm gonna go on with the shade. I gotta remember, cause I don't remember. It's upside down. We're going to win shade 518 on this Morphe brush. It does not have numbers, so I cannot tell y'all which one this is. Just know it comes in the Eye Obsession palette. Now we're just going to apply that 518 into my crease. Ooh. It's like 518 has a little bit of kick to it. But this brush is everything. And I'm definitely going to buy more and more free brushes. That way y'all can use them. Y'all know what I forgot? Y'all can use codes in the Morphe store. I totally went to the Morphe store and I forgot that you could use like Code James or Patrick Star or Laura Lee. In the store. You know, sometimes you're just there and you're in the moment. So you forget. So, yeah, but... Anyways, the store's closed down anyway, so it doesn't really matter now. All Morphe stores, all Ulta stores are closing. Um, I know today is March 18th. Spencer's is closing down tonight at 7 o'clock. So that sucks for a lot of people. They're like getting like shirts and stuff out of there. Like, what are we going to do now? <laughs> all I can think about is like what am I gonna do with my life if I can't even go to the mall and go on Spencer's like can't even do that no more y'all alright so this orange I've never used the orange in a palette so it's so cute um, especially on my eyes like it just brings out everything so it's like hey girl what you doing today? Like that's that's kind of how you feel. Like um, just using James Charles palette. Nothing new. <laughs> that's probably how y'all feel. Like nothing new. She's always using that palette. And uh, I have a Juvia's Place palette as well. So I was gonna use it today, but it doesn't have that many colors in it. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So then we're gonna go in. The next Morphe brush, and we're gonna go ahead and place that yellow on those outer corners. Ooh, you know what I want to do? Like a little outer V moment on both. Now the yellow, I really had to like pack on, which sucks because you don't expect a pressed powder it's just like have to be packed on because in my view it disappears so sometimes i have to like turn my brightness on my mirror down because i'm like okay where's this yellow where's it at and it's always there like always there <sighs> but if y'all want a james charles palette and you don't have it i'd recommend getting the mini version because it's more travel friendly than the bigger one because I traveled with the bigger one and I don't know didn't like it that much 
traveling with it because it was a lot of hassle trying to pack it in the right spot and trying to use it. It's like, what can I do? And I can barely use my own palette because it's so big. But I mean, that's really only if you have a bigger like suitcase or a bigger space. If you don't have a bigger space and you're only going for like a weekend, you're like, okay, girl, I, want, I really need to do my makeup. That's the time you need to go and get that mini. Just to, just to have it, you know? I realize this video is probably going to be so long, but it's worth it because I haven't been on my channel in like, I don't know, decades. <laughs> All right, so now that I did that, I'm going to take like a flatter brush. Probably not this one. Try to something like this to go in with. But I'm looking for like a flatter brush. Oops. That I can just conceal with. I just need to conceal the middle. Oh, I'm just doing like a halo moment. So it's gonna be like a gold center. So I went to Ulta Beauty today though. And I was really upset because I'm like, oh, I was already about to close. And I probably need a new setting spray. And I did not buy the setting spray because I got distracted by something else. So, y'all know how that goes. When you get distracted by something else, you're stuck in the store forever and ever. You know, it's just like, sorry. But I ended up buying a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is the one I see a lot. So I was kind of, I was really excited. And it was the last one. So yeah. Um, so let me tell you also so I can get it out. It's Here We Go Again. This is what it looks like. It's very gold, very metallic. I love, I love, I love, I love. So I'm gonna go in and go ahead and do it, do it. Oh, it picked up so nicely. And I'm just going in the middle with it. It picked up like really nicely. Like, no hassle. Like this shadow says like no pain. No gain, y'all. This is literally what the shadow's giving me. No pain, no gain. And there you go, now you have a halo eye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm loving it. Because it's just that pop of color that you need added onto the yellow. And it's like, do you know what this reminds me of? The sunset. Oh, yes. Yes, queen. Okay. So now that all that's done, I'm going to go ahead and put some lashes on. We're going to add some lashes to the look. But first, let me get the mascara out. Actually, I don't even know what brand this is from. Because I got it for Christmas. But I absolutely love it because of the wand. And I see why people are like, the skinnier the wand, like, the better. Because you can actually get in between your lashes. And not have trouble getting in between them. Just like girl so this is what the eye look looks like doing a little yellow a little golden and then I have a little orange to bring out the pop so yeah lashes applied I did my inner corner and I did the bottom as well so now I'm just gonna go in and put my face again if I can go in with a highlight and this is to go in 
Once again with the highlight. I'm just gonna a little light, a little brush on the highlight. On both sides. Brush on the light. And then we're gonna go in through here, go on top. And once again on the other side, once again on the other side. Keep this well to make sure you have that shine underneath the brow bone as well underneath the brow to make sure that shine is there and then last but not least we're just going to what's it called outline your lips put your brushes back in your case that way you know you have separate brushes so i'm probably going to use those for traveling so then we're going to spend my feet one more time and then we're going to go in with some gel lip liner my brow just to get the line of my lips back and I usually do not overline my lips I just had to stay inside the line and boom now I have a lip liner so that's outlined and then we're gonna go with the Fenty, Fenty Beauty lip gloss and the color fussy. Then you're just gonna and then make sure you're gonna get the top and the bottom. And then there you have it folks. A complete look using TikTok hacks and making a sunset eye. Well, I hope you have an amazing rest of your break, depending on how long your break is. Um, I know my break just got extended by two weeks, so I'm pretty happy. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Make sure you're washing your hands. Have hand sanitizer on you at all times. Um, if your job is getting canceled, anything, just make sure you have a stable income coming your way. Well, without further ado, that concludes my video, and I hope you have a great day, Mia Squad. Bye-bye.